Hey everyone, we're back. Time for more E6 fun. So, it's been like a week since I've last played. Let me think on what we were doing. I know last time I killed a bug and got this bell. And I... Th yeah, that's the main thing. So now we can explore the Lime Water Cave. And we're capable of killing those enemies who were impervious to our attacks. So we can explore the cave properly now. And I don't I don't think there was anything else to really do other than that. We're just going to explore Lime Water Cave. Oh, this guy. See, now we can kill him. And he's really not that tough now. Yeah, these guys aren't that tough now. I wonder if they're even giving me any worthwhile experience. Wait, what level? 34, yeah. I mean, it really doesn't feel like it. Which isn't a... Which... Isn't a bad thing, in my opinion. How do you get that chest, though, I wonder? Do I have to jump on one of these? Oh! Oh, that, that's cheating. Come on. Yeah, I think you have to jump on this. There we go. Okay. Moving on. I know there was other chests. I think, yeah, there was that one chest I had found before that I had to abandon. Although I don't rightly remember where it was. Whatever. Oh crap, confusion. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not... We're not totally protected from other status ailments. Oh. Things like Confusion and Heavy are still gonna get us. But... I consider... Well, we kind of have to have the poison equipped anyway for this armor that I have. No... Say no to confusion. I believe these guys inflict heavy? I honestly don't remember. No. I like how those enemies don't emit blood, they emit green goo. Can I get up there from there? Eh. Nah. No. Nope, can't get up there. I remember that area, though. Oh, look! Nice. Midpoint. But... 
I wasn't done. I know there are some things that I'm missing here. Okay, don't go down there. Now, if I recall correctly, this is the room that I died before. Yeah, these things murdered me horribly. Okay, wait. Oh, crap, I don't have it. That works for, for me, too. And, of course, there's way more of them. Leveled up, though. Yeah, I needed the... Man, there's a lot of these enemies. But they're all dead now. And what's in here? Chest. Ah, the gold tabula. Yep, that's three of the five. Now I'm just going to ignore this enemy. I need to charge up my sword magic, though. That would have made short work of those flying enemies. Just like how confusion... Make short work out of me. <laughs> okay, now where am I going? I know there's more chests to be found. Just ignore that for now. Maybe. Uh. Wait, this isn't the right way. Yeah, sorry if this is kind of boring, but I seriously have to regain my bearings for this dungeon. Doesn't help now that I reduce the light by taking off that accessory. Oh, wait. How did I miss that the first time? Okay. So this next area is going to have some tougher enemies, and there's something kind of neat to show. We're going to meet some interesting enemies. Oh yeah, and see, we get to deal with more of those wonderful... See, look at this. You're like, oh my god, what's that? It's dark. It's dark at all. You can't even hurt the fucker. What is this? So what you do... Is you get that handy, you get that handy rainbow fragment, and you equip it, and then suddenly this changes into some weird whatever the fuck. And you also are capable of killing it now. Yeah. Does Adol have like us? Like a spotlight on him or something. Uh, these enemies, though. Oh. Whoa. Note to self: um, ground attacks don't work on flying enemies. I don't really want to waste my fire magic, or my wind magic on, like, two enemies. Hmm. 
There's another one of these guys. Good news is these guys give out a really nice amount of experience. So we should be able to even the playing field pretty quick thanks to that. Yeah, I don't like those enemies. They're just so weird. How did... See that? That one, like, warped into the water. How? And why? Yeah, we still see some of these weaker enemies. They give us comfort. Another cap of water. Yeah. I like killing those things really quick. Yeah, those enemies, even if you, even doing this thing, like, isn't really a guarantee that you're gonna, eh, do it right. Still seem to hit you pretty pretty often. And we're going to use this right away. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like those things kind of just warp directly to where you're standing. It's pretty annoying. Oh, yeah. So, remember those bugs from the ruins? Well, here's what happens when they get too big. Yeah, I don't like these. I didn't like the bugs before. I really don't like them now. And these gray blobs... They, like, inflict every single status effect on you. So here I just basically use Brillante the entire time. Unless Brillante can't hit him. Come on, dude. Oh, that's not fair. It almost killed me, too. And now I'm cursed. You know, and unlike Oath and Filgana, I don't believe that charge attack actually deflects moves. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. You know what, we're just gonna warp. Not taking the chance. Just not doing it. But we can explore this other area while we're at it. Yeah, I don't like these enemies at all. They're very annoying. 
and mildly disturbing. Oh, let's go down here. Good news is we're getting ourselves quite a bit of emil, although I honestly don't remember how much we needed for the next sword levels. What were my sword levels? Seven, eight, seven. Another cap low water. Or how many I have? Seven. So I can hold two more, and I think if I hit that cap soon, I will... It would look a white one. Oh, those things, like, drop a ton of emil. I think they kind of spawn... kind of randomly, and they drop a ton of emil. And they, like, almost all fell off the side of the cliff. Okay, I think this is where I was at before. Oh, did he go inside the wall? <laughs> That's funny. I think I was just here. Yeah, I was just here. And another chest. Oh, good. So, new slot. We can equip something else. I'm going to go for the ammo mallet. Keep boosting the ammo. Although there's some other stuff I would really like to keep equipped as well. Yeah, it's a shame that the Galba armor poisons the wearer. Otherwise, I would, uh, not bother with the accessory. But, what can you do? Yeah, Emil Mallet is definitely the way to go, though. I mean, considering the sheer amount of Emil you need toward the end of the game, you pretty much are going to want that thing equipped every possible chance you can get. Catastrophe mode just makes acquiring it that much easier. You get up there. I must know how you get up there. I see platforms on the other side. up here unless I missed something going the other way doesn't really sound right though let's just go back the other way real quick I might have missed something heading that way Which, knowing this place is always a possibility. In fact, did I even go up this way the first time? 
No, I didn't. No. Leave me alone. You went fine. Yeah. Well, there's a thing. How do I get up there? Hmm. More of those annoying enemies that no one gives a crap about. Oh, crap. See, those enemies, they just... They get you once, and that's it. You're done. It's game over. Not really, but it's how I feel sometimes. Yay, treasure chest. But that's not the one I want. I want that one that is red with the gold trimming. That's a special one, I can tell. I think this is the one that I want. Um, too many capital waters. I'm gonna have to leave again so I can sell these things. Do not want to die. <sighs> What's in here? Uh. Seriously, why is this in a red chest? Hmm? Why would you put this in a red chest? What is wrong with you? There's a boss in there. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Pull the wool over my eyes and put a cap of water in a red chest. <laughs> I'm not bitter or anything. Wasn't expecting something cool from it or anything. Let's just sell these capital waters. <laughs>